Hey, what's up guys? It's Nashcrafter and welcome to my channel for another episode here in my 1.14 Let's Play single player vanilla Minecraft series. We are back and in the last episode, at the very, very end, I left you guys to come to the nether and I wanted to start here because I thought it only made sense. I left you guys walking through the portal and we didn't actually get here in that episode, but we're going to be starting this episode right here in the nether and I think what we should do is just hop into it let's flip around check this out now this nether looks intense and i kind of was like oh my gosh at the end of last episode because i saw all of this like red just red infinity in front of me and i was like wow this is crazy this is a really cool spawn and i think we're definitely going to be able to do some cool things design wise in the future uh, I'm seeing lots of quartz around which is great these lava strings up here They were actually loading in and they were so cool because they were going really slow And they were just going down and down and down and down. It was really cool um, When the world was actually loading in or the nether was loading in. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do here There really isn't much to do in the nether other than find fortresses and I'm not seeing one you know blatantly obviously near us so i guess getting quartz is probably a good way a good a good place to start a good way to start a good place to start either one i guess uh so let's grab this quartz up just so we can have it for later in case we need it for anything i'll probably do some quartz mining in the future it's a really great way to get levels so let's just collect up some of this we'll probably want some glowstone as well in fact there is a project that we're going to do in the very near future that i need some glowstone for so let's grab up some netherrack so we can use this as scaffolding i actually didn't bring any scaffolding with me i should have in fact i should probably always keep scaffolding on me at this point because it's just super helpful you never know when you're going to need to climb up something or get down somewhere um so it can be really really helpful for that so i want to get that glowstone right there if i can oh man we're doing this the old school way <laughs> pillaring up and pillaring down which is okay hopefully no gas cup there is a gas right there oh god maybe if i did if i don't move he won't see me oh you guys oh my god i'm actually terrified i'm like frozen in my tracks i don't know what to do okay let's get this glowstone quickly Oh, I'm not even in like the good, good good position. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Please don't see. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, let's just grab some of this. That was so scary. Whew, frozen in my tracks. I don't think we'll get all of this. We'll come back and get it later. Um, because I think I need to do some portal protection because this is like a gas heaven. They could totally spawn here at any moment. All right, collecting up just a little bit more quartz. And uh, I think we're going to call this good with the, with the nether today. I didn't really spend too much time here, but we're definitely going to come and find a fortress later. That'll be more of a dedicated video probably because um, I, have, I have plans for today. Actually, I have some really cool plans for today's video. So let's head back through the portal and talk about those. So when we come through the portal, this is exactly what we see. Now, I have a little dirt bridge here over our ravine that we found in the last episode that has the mine shaft under it i haven't gone and explored that yet i think that'd be something fun to do in the future but let's take a sleep just so nothing crazy happens and then i can talk to you guys about my plan so i wanted to decorate this with you guys in today's episode and if you saw the last episode you'll, you might have seen the thumbnail so you kind of got a sneak peek of what we're going to be doing with this but i thought it'd be kind of cool to build it with you guys here on camera so you can see my thought process you can see kind of what i was thinking while i was doing it and let's actually put the 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 nether things away so yeah i wanted to do this with you guys on camera just so you could see everything that i was thinking about while i was building this so let's just get started let's hop right in i'm gonna start off by kind of making a little bit of a bridge here that goes down now hopefully we don't fall that's the kind of the last thing we want to happen right now and i'm trying to think of how i want to even do this oh man um kind of thinking if we dig this out we could start this lower maybe that's something we can plan out later like towards the end so let's just put that back and then i do for here i do want to go one lower just on the bottom slab we're going to use a lot of slabs for this so coming that way and it is a little off center from up here but i think that gives it a little bit more direction um having it actually be off center then it doesn't look 
too perfect, which I think is always kind of a good thing to consider when doing a Minecraft build because you don't want your builds to be too perfect. At least that's kind of what I try to go for. If you if you like that style, then do it, then go for it. I've, I've been trying to stray away from building like that. Okay, there we go. So let's have that dip down there. That looks quite awkward. Let me see, I might not be able to get these blocks back, which kind of sucks, but yep, that one's gone. <laughs> that's, that's okay. All right, let's take this one out. Now, how's that looking? Yeah, that looks pretty good, right? Maybe even another one, or maybe even go lower, because I do want this to kind of look like it droops quite a lot. But if we do that, then I think we are going to have to pull this back a bit. And I'm really just playing with this. I don't, I, I sort of have a plan in mind for what I want to do, but for the most part, I'm just playing around and just doing whatever in my eyes looks good. And let's drop that lower so then we can go even lower with this middle bit here. Okay, so this one has to go. Oh, oh, oh my God. Jeez Louise. Okay, yep. <laughs> I want to get all my blocks back. <laughs> all right, and then what we'll do is we'll kind of do a support beam here. So that kind of helps us get lower, I believe. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, something like that. Now, I don't know if you guys do this when you build, but I always take a lot of steps back. I like, I walk away from the build a lot and take a few steps back because I feel like sometimes I can get into the building mode and I'll just start going and going and going. And then you take a step back and you look at it and you're like, whoa, that is not what I thought I was building. Because, you know, when you're all up on it, it's, it can be kind of hard to see exactly what it looks like. So taking a step back, you, you kind of get the whole... The whole idea i guess so then this one i think we want to do three across hopefully there's no endermen down there that could be quite scary you don't want to mess with them and then this one will go up by one there we go <laughs> okay uh and then this will go up again and kind of meet up with this level here and I am using spruce wood for this. I think this this is one of my favorite blocks, one of my favorite wood textures in the game. So I thought it was it would look nice in this area. And I think it does. I think it, I think it looks pretty cool. Now, I don't want this to look perfect either. I kind of mentioned that earlier, but I mean, I feel like the builders in this area, um, the villagers that had come and tried to rebuild this bridge, I feel like the story behind this would be they saw this glowing purple light coming from this cave and they wanted to go and explore it, but they didn't have a way across the ravine. So they made this like rickety old crooked bridge and that kind of just helped them get across uh, the bridge over to the portal so that they could see where this actually goes. So that's kind of my, my lore behind it, I guess. It's nothing too crazy. And that looks pretty rickety to me. I think that looks pretty good. I wanted to feel like they built this in a rush. Like it was really exciting that they found this portal and that the villagers or whoever built this, the the townspeople probably from our village over there um, came over and built this. I know we're building this right now. So like it's technically us building it. But if we were to put lore behind it, that's kind of what I would go for. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve out the shape a little bit more because this little jagged piece here looks awkward. I'm going to try to go through and texturize a little bit, especially the stone over there because that looks too clean. Too much stone can look too clean and I feel like we want to rough it up a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'll catch you guys in just a second. I carved out the cave a little bit. It's looking better, a little more uniform. And then this part as well, I kind of just smoothed out. So it looks like a natural arch, natural cave, a little bit better in my opinion at least. And then I added these little stumps and I thought it'd be kind of cool to go through and add some accent blocks on top just to cover up those end bits. Now I know we could use the, what you call them? The bark blocks, I think is what they're called. The ones that are like full um like this we could totally use those what actually are these oh just spruce wood so it'd be oak wood interesting oh i guess the bark block no that's stripped is this bark what the heck what was the bark block why am i thinking bark block anyway we can uh put trap doors on here just like so give it a little bit more accent and then i think what we'll also want to do is maybe add some railing 
We don't want this to be too safe. Like I said, we want it to be rickety, but I don't really want to risk kind of falling off. And I might even bump this back a little bit because this seems a little bit too far forward. So let's just do that right now. So let's grab some of this and we'll bump it back by one, put our slab back on, and then we could probably do something like maybe a piece of andesite there or a grass block or something along those lines. So you'll kind of come in from almost this angle because that little piece is there kind of blocking that off. I think that gives it some interest. So I'm, I, I think that's cool. All right. So then let's go in with our spruce wood fence posts, fence. And let's start adding a railing onto this. Look at those creepers down there. Just waiting in the spider coming up. So I'm just going to kind of run this along the side. Like so. And then we'll start to work it up a little bit. Hmm. How are we going to deal with this situation here? I guess it could join into the, the stone. I don't know why that would really be an issue. So then I think we want to make sure we kind of bring this along this way maybe meet it up like that that ooh, that actually looks kind of cool okay that's cool so then this part's kind of the only part that we could die off of if we kind of hit it from the wrong angle but i don't think we'll be walking off the edge so i think we'll be okay over there and I, it looks like i need to make myself a little bit more fence which we can do in just a second so like i want it to be uneven i don't want it to be symmetrical on both sides and i think that looks pretty cool uh, again, there's a couple spots where you could die, but I want it like that. I almost kind of feel like that gives it that more rickety effect. Whenever you think of rope bridges, which is kind of what I'm going for with this look, you think of danger. You're like, man, it's rickety. Uh, it doesn't seem so sturdy. And that's exactly how I want this to feel. I want it to feel like, you know, maybe these parts just weren't built correctly or they are, were broken off or something like that. And that this has been here a while and it's not exactly the safest, the safest of places to be. So um, that's, that's the whole vibe we're going for. And I think it kind of works. Now that, okay, now that I'm looking at that little tree stump right there, it looks a little weird. <laughs> um, it looks really weird, actually. It doesn't look so weird from this angle, but from that angle it does. And see, the thing about building that I like to try to do is I like to make it look good from every angle because you're probably going to see it from every angle. You know what? Maybe we move this over by one. And we kind of do something with this area that I was just talking about where I was like, I don't know if we should have it intersect with the stone. So what we could do is actually pop that up like that. Bring this down. We'll go like that. And I think that'll make a little bit more sense. And then we could put the trap door on top. How's that going to look? Then maybe we could even bring some dirt blocks over on the side here like this. Again, I'm just winging this. I'm just going off the top of my head. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going with whatever comes. So let's go to this side. Take a look. See if we're happy with that. Yes. Okay. That looks so, so, so much better. It looks so much better. So the next thing I would like to do is I actually wouldn't mind getting myself some silk touch because bringing grass blocks over there to put some path on the other side, kind of making it look like it was trampled and unkept in that area. And then even over here too, we could start to kind of come in with some path block over here, mixing things up a little bit, and then we'll probably want to bring it down there too. And I'll move all this stuff later. It probably won't stay here. But yeah, I think that looks kind of cool. Maybe even bringing it up over here too we really want this area we want everything to feel like it fits together and like it's really immersive so i think that would look kind of cool if we did that oh another thing i brought was lanterns these would look really good as just like little decorative lighting pieces and i was kind of thinking what if we did them on top of um maybe like oh wait hold on hmm, how do i want to do this <laughs> i'm like oh man let's actually pop this down maybe put one there and then Maybe one right there, and maybe one right there, and then maybe one when we get closer right there. I think that looks pretty cool. Kind of like they left their lanterns here when they were building. Like maybe they got so spooked that they didn't even take their lanterns with them. I think that looks cool. And it is becoming nighttime, so we can actually see this during the nighttime. Now the thing is, we don't want it too bright, because if it's too bright, it could kind of start to look like 
it'll draw a lot of attention to it and i feel like this is a place that we wouldn't want to draw a lot of attention to kind of see here we might take that back one out because the portal provides quite a lot of light on its own maybe if we take that out let's take a look from back here yeah it's a little bit better it kind of darkens that area over there I don't mind that too much. I think that kind of works. Now, if we take a step back, like back, back, uh, we can kind of see. Yeah, so there's light, but I don't think it's. Ooh, I don't know. It might be too much. What if we take out this one? It's a little bit better. Looks a little more mysterious, a little more ominous. So now that I've done the majority of the main building with you guys, I think I'm just going to finish finish this build off. And then I'll come back with you guys and show you what I did and just kind of explain some last minute things to you guys. So I just got done dumping off some of my items at the house because my inventory was way too full. So I cleaned it out. Everything is looking clean and clear and good. Um, one thing I wanted to do before I go over and show you guys the portal was I actually found two horses that have been hanging out in this area. And I think it'd be really nice to have ourselves a pet horse and uh, be able to travel back and forth through all of this land a lot quicker. So I found the, well, there's this guy. He's been stuck here for so long, um, just kind of stuck in between these trees. I'm not even sure how he got there. <laughs> I don't know. Try to save him and see if maybe he's he wants to come home with us because I feel like this would be a really nice horse, horse type of village. Um, so, oh, don't go down there. Okay, really? <laughs> Like, you, what? He's not exactly the smartest of horses, but I think, oh my god, uh, no, 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 Pure panic. Pure panic just happened. Can you come out of there, please? I don't know why you're being so timid and shy. And look, he, okay, this horse has a knack for getting himself trapped in places that he cannot get out of. Let's save him again. All right, come this way. Come on, come on. So please don't get stuck, because we might have to name you... <laughs> I just thought of the worst name ever, but I'm not going to say it. So he seems to be pretty chill. Kicked us off once. Let's see, is he going to... Oh, nope. One more time. Okay, let's try this again. All right. I just want to see like how many hearts he has and how fast he is, because there is another horse that we could possibly tame as well. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, wow. He has a lot of hearts. Um, okay, so let's put a saddle on you and see. Oh, man. <laughs> He's pretty slow. Maybe this isn't the horse for us. Let's actually, you know what? Let's put him in town. We'll have to make a stable for all of our horses, but let's put him in town. Let's take the saddle off actually first. So there we go. Let's just tie him up over here, I guess. We'll put him back there. There we go. Awesome. And uh, yeah, we'll leave him be and we'll go see the other one. I think hopefully the other one's a little bit faster because that's what I'm looking for more so than hearts is actually just speed. I've walked past him a couple times. I don't think he was stuck, but he always hangs out in the same spot. Go over here. I think it's like right next to this mountain. Uh, somewhere over here. That is a sheep. Okay, it's not quite what we're looking for. What did I see? Oh, right here. Okay, cool. There it is. Okay, and this one's beautiful. This horse is so pretty. Okay, so let's see if we can tame him. I think he's stuck on a block. Oh man. Okay, oh, don't run. It's fine. I promise we're okay. I'm friendly. I see he doing that little dancing thing. He's like a dancing horse. Oh, there we go. Okay, awesome. So then let's pop this on and see if you're a little bit faster. Oh yeah, this one's got some speed. Okay, 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 okay. I think this is the one we'll want to keep. All right, so let's head back into town. Let's do the question and comment of the day. All right, so we are back in town. This guy is speedy fast. So I think the question of the day is going to be, what should we name our two new horses? I need two names. Uh, you can base it off of what they look like. You can call them like speedy or something. Just any cool name that you guys have for suggestions. I'm super bad at naming pets in Minecraft. I just... I'm, I'm really bad at coming up with names, so I would really appreciate it if you guys had any cool names, and I will pick the next one and put it in the video, and you will be put in the community comments book, which is this little guy here. So speaking of the community comment, I did want to talk about the one that I chose 
from last episode so the question that i asked you guys in the last episode was what villager would you be if you could pick to be any villager in minecraft and the one that i chose for today's episode that was my favorite one was i would be a farmer because you get traded with a lot and you get to eat all of the yummy food you harvest without having to pay for it and that was by Fond Noodle Gardens. Thank you so, so much, Fond Noodle Gardens, for the comment. I really like this one because I can relate. And I actually said that I would enjoy being a farmer as well. A lot of you guys actually agreed with being either a farmer or a librarian, which I thought was cool. It seems like those are the two most popular villagers. Um, but I really like this one because, you know, you, they do get traded with a lot. Farmers are really useful in Minecraft and it's really easy to get crops. So having the farmer to be able to trade all of your extra crops with is always great another cool thing is you do get to eat all of the crops and they i mean they get to you know farm up all the crops and then they throw them at other villagers and things like that and i think that's kind of cool i enjoyed that comment a lot thank you guys so much again the question of the day for today is what should we name our two horses i will pick my favorite names and of course you will get placed in the community comments book now let's check out our portal here this is it so this is what it looks like um officially i'm glad i got to build this with you guys on camera at least some of it with you i did a little bit of texturing over here just going through with andesite cobblestone and stone regular stone and a few slabs you can see them kind of darted around here and there i used the new 1.14 stone slabs as well as andesite slabs which are really great to build with i wanted to look a little overgrown i think it looks a little different than the thumbnail in the last episode because i did change it up a little bit yeah there's just that there's a couple things actually i want to change quickly which i don't have any of my blocks so i might have to do it later the only thing i want to change is removing these dirt blocks down below because they look a little weird i always like to put the match and whenever i have path block because you can see it kind of leaves a sliver there i always like to put the the block above that matches it so you don't see the texture change in between i don't know it looks a little weird so i like to go and go through and change that but this is pretty much done i have a few barrels here for when we come back from the nether and we collect up resources we can kind of chuck them in there or anything extra like if we have you know extra bones or something i kind of like to do this weird thing where i like put random like put them randomly in the chest because i don't know i just think it, it kind of looks like it's more lived in a little bit than if you were to do this now i don't do this with my storage like when i'm storing items i don't do that but when i have like random chests just floating around the world i think it's kind of cool just to put the Put the items randomly because it kind of looks like how they would be if they were just sitting in the bottom of the chest kind of weird but i like it it's just a little design thing that i try to do but other than that you guys pretty much saw me do everything i just added um a kind of gradient with the stairs so you can go up and down easily always like to do that i did that on both sides there's a drop creeper waiting to happen good thing we're not down there i don't even know if you guys can see that it's pretty dark on the video but there's a creeper scary creeper right there where my crosshairs are um but this is our new portal design i hope you guys really really like it uh we're gonna be getting so much use out of this now one thing i will say while i was building this is i really hope that they eventually add dirt slabs dirt slabs is something that i think would be so cool in this game uh it would make this area here look a little bit better so that's something i'm still kind of fingers crossed waiting for to come into the game dirt slabs dirt slabs would be so good because making terrain gradients would be so much better if we had those so i hope those get added eventually i know we can do that with a texture pack I might think about doing that not entirely sure yet and i can't wait to go back to the nether with you guys and find a fortress in the future so stay tuned for that but that is going to have to be it for today's episode thank you guys so much for watching i, I appreciate you coming by the videos and watching thank you guys so so much for participating in the question of the day that means the world to me too because reading through your comments is so fun every morning i wake up and i just read through the comments and see and then pick one for the next video so it's a really good time but thank you guys so much don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter both at nashcrafter but again thank you guys so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in the next episode i hope you all have a very beautiful wonderful day Bye, guys.